Hello everyone. In this tutorial we will try to fix a couple of issues which every developer experiencing while working on the game or project. We are talking about the issues when user losing the focus in the widget, if it's clicked out of input area or widget. As a result the mouse icon become invisible, it is very frustrating, and developer should take steps to prevent this to happen. Another issue is with the using game pad controller, when the user moving from one button to another, but these buttons don't fire hover event like they should in case of the mouse use. As a result user have no ability to know which button or widget has user focus. So this tutorial will help to create reliable widgets without the issues above. Let's build simple widget, and I will show what I mean. All right. Our widget is done. Let's take a look what is inside. It is very simple widget. It contains a few buttons. Every button has style which will clearly show the state of the button, normal, hovered and pressed by changing the color of the button. Also in the widget we added a few text fields where we will put the state of the current focused button, in case the button has focus. To show our widget port in the level blueprint we have added a few nodes to create widget, show it in the viewport, and to locate the mouse cursor at the beginning. Let's hit the play button and see it in action. So, our widget is working. When we move the mouse over buttons we can see which button is hovered. And when we click we can also see which button is clicked. Let's try to click the mouse outside the buttons. As you could see the mouse symbol just disappeared. Let's try again. The same. Clearly, the focus has been lost, we can't see the mouse, and we don't know where it is. It is definitely an issue. Now let's try game pad control. We can see that focus moving accordingly when we press up and down buttons on game pad, but buttons in the widget change the state for normal and clicked states only, but not for hovered. So this is an issue too. We are going to fix this by modifying the widget. First, we will create a few variables. The first one will be boolean. This variable will keep true if gamepad is in use and false if mouse is in use. The second one will keep the last focused widget or button like in our case. The last variable will be an array of widgets or buttons which should be monitored if any of it has focus. Next, we will activate some inbuilt functions and add a few new ones. We are changing override function called on mouse move, so it will store false in our boolean variable. To second override function called on preview key down. We will add opposite functionality, our variable will change to true if gamepad is in use. Next, we create function called move mouse cursor. 
In this function we take the location and the size of the widget where mouse should be and calculate location of the center of this widget and set mouse position in this location. Now, in the next function, collect buttons, we will recursively scan all the elements in our widget, and if there is a button we will add this button in an array variable for later use. Now, let's put all this together. All preparations are done. Let's see if our widget works and issues are solved. As you can see everything works just fine. With this modifications our cursor is always visible. In case of lost focus the mouse returns back to the center of the last focused button. Also, when we use gamepad, buttons are firing hover event. So all the issues are solved. That will be the end of this tutorial.
The project with this tutorial is available for free download, and the link for the project you will find in the description box. In the next tutorial we will learn how to manipulate the visibility of mouse cursor if user switches from mouse to gain pad control, and vice versa. So, please, stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching.